Hello and welcome to another Ubiquiti unboxing. Today we're gonna have a look at the new Ubiquiti ISO Station 5AC. First, let's take a look at the contents of the box. The quick start guide, the Ubiquiti ISO Station, the pole mount, standard power cable, and lastly, the PoE injector. The device itself is divided into two parts, the front one and the back one. The front one is metalized from the inside, so it prevents any signal interference from the side. It operates within the 45 degree arc, so it's pretty well focused. The other part is equipped with two radiator antennas, which allows it to operate uh, within the MIMO technology standard. All in all, the whole device is waterproof. Uh, you can see that once I open up this seal here, it actually requires some effort. Inside there is a um, one gigabit ethernet port, a reset button, uh, and a QR code for the Ubiquiti mobile app. So I'm gonna seal this in, again, with quite some effort, and then once you do that, you can just put the device together. Clicks through nicely. Ends up looking pretty cool. So now that I have assembled it, I can see that it's pretty robust, it's pretty solid, very heavy. Uh, the second part here, it's made out of metal, it's not plastic, so they've made it to be pretty solid. Um, they've made it to last, definitely. The ISO station has been designed and tested to work under uh, quite heavy weather conditions. It operates between minus 40 degrees up to 70 degrees Celsius and can sustain a wind speed up to 200 kilometers per hour. This device has been equipped with the version 8 of the Ubiquiti ROS which allows it to be configured by a mobile app, which greatly simplifies the initial config as well as accessing reports and diagnostic tools. The Ubiquiti ISO station can operate with a 450 megabit throughout. This concludes our Ubiquiti ISO station unboxing. Should you require any more information about this or any other Ubiquiti product, contact us at info at